Hey YouTube, uh, Aiden here. Um, reminder, if you want a lesson with me, check the link down that direction. Um, and let's talk about threaded and non-threaded or push fit lead pipes. Now, quick reminder, even though your trombone might not have removable lead pipes like these that I have on my desk, it does have a lead pipe. You can see here on this Bach 36, you can see kind of like two different things going on here. We have the outer cork barrel, um, mouthpiece receiver assembly, and then we have a another thing on the inside that's kind of brass colored. It's kind of hard to see here with the solder around it, and that's the fixed lead pipe in this Bach 36. Um, every trombone has something like this. There are some trombones without lead pipes, but you probably don't have one. And if you do have one and you can't take it out, this is what it looks like. Now, these are not impossible to remove, but you have to be a tech and you have to have a torch and some specialized tools and stuff to get it out. Um, I've done this on a few horns. I've had this done, I should say. I am not a tech. Um, and it's a good way to change the response of an instrument. But we're here to talk about removable lead pipes. So what's the difference between these two? Well, it's pretty simple. Right here, I have my Shires dual bore slide. That has a threaded receiver. And the Shires lead pipe here, you can see, threads in. Ta-da! Now, you don't ever want to tighten this too much. I'll just tighten it just by hand. And if I ever need to get it out, I use my um, no marking pliers. And then you can just take it out by doing this. And usually I do this with a mouthpiece and the receiver. But you can see here, we've got threads on the ring on the lead pipe and we have threads in the receiver as well. You just see the very edge of them right there. Not all threads are the same. These are Shire's threads, of course, but there's also Con threads, Edwards threads, um, etc. Luckily, some makers now, Instrument Innovation sells rings that you can have put on lead pipes that will fit in any of the receivers, which is pretty handy. Now, this looks a little weird right now um, because this does have a threaded receiver. Not all um, instruments that can take different lead pipes have the threaded receiver, of course, but this is just a press fit lead pipe. So instead of it threading into this top thing, it just has this um, hexagonal ring on top and it literally just goes in and it stops there. Um, and this is definitely a disadvantage. Uh, it's a little bit harder to get out, a little bit easier to get in, I guess. But also, this means it doesn't seal as well. So it's hard to see on camera, but a lead pipe is smallest around here. The mouthpiece receiver portion is up here. The venturi, or the smallest portion, is around here. And then it expands up to the inside of the slide bore around the end. You can kind of see where it touches the inside of the slide. Now, you want that to seal really well, or else it's going to leak, right? But the threaded lead pipe has the added advantage of sealing at the top as well with these threads. And when you don't have threads, like a push fit, press fit lead pipe, um, it doesn't seal at the top. So you're really relying on the seal down there at the bottom. Also, and I have this problem all the time, check this out. So we've got our mouthpiece and our press fit lead pipe in the slide and it just turns. Um, some lead pipes are a little more loose than others. You can see it also wiggles because there's it's smaller at the top than it is at the bottom. Um, but if you're playing on your face, this can actually just turn with your face. And it's not a very, uh, it's not a good feeling to have when this is just going while you're playing. So hopefully you understand a little bit more threaded lead pipes, press fit lead pipes. Um, press fit's usually a bit of an older thing before we got nice threaded rings that are easy, easily accessible and threaded receivers that you can buy from Shires Edwards, Instrument Innovations, etc. Um, there's kind of no reason to use the press fit now unless you really just want to try stuff out and then eventually either solder it in or have a ring put on later. Um, if I ever really wanted to on a lead pipe like this, I think this is a Bach 50 lead pipe, um, I would have a ring put on so I could have it um, thread into the um, slides that I have and I might actually do that someday because the press fit just does not work long term It's a nice way to try something out, but it's not a good way to play it full time. So there we go That's all I got. See you guys next time